this is also around the time that Vince is going to resign as the president of Titan Sports in the wake of the steroid controversy. So he's not indicted until later in 1993. But I think he kind of sees everything coming down the pike. And so he resigns and puts uh, Linda in charge, I believe, as, as the new president of Titan Sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, with, with everything that's going on, Ted, were you confident that the company is going to be able to survive and thrive despite th- this situation and Hulk, the biggest star ever, getting ready to leave? You know, I, I had no worries. I mean, I, you know, um, Vince is, uh, you know, he's a shrewd guy, but he's extremely intelligent too. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, you know, I mean, I, I can see why he if, might make that move just as a precautionary move in case, you know, in, a, in case the worst happens. Right. Yes. Uh, so I, I, I get it. You know, I, I understood and I, you know, I, and, and for me, again, uh, th- what, what year was that? This is 92? Nine, 93. 93. So, you know, you know, I'm approaching the 40 mark. And, um, you know, by now, I'm also, um, I al- I'm also, uh, you know, because of uh, what happened to me personally, you know, in my relationship with my wife at home, I mean, we're, we, we nearly... We nearly divorced, and because you know, she discovered that I was running around, and and um, so there was a whole lot of other things going on for me at the same time. This was when I, this was when I made a, a an about face and, and a return to a very heavy relationship with God, mm-hmm. and I never, I never envisioned it going where it went. Uh, of course, I believe, I, you know, I, I sincerely believe that's all God's hand, anyway, but. I end up having, I, I form Heart of David Ministry, and by this time, I'm starting to go out. I mean, I'm still involved in wrestling, but I'm starting to go out little by little and start speaking in churches and sharing my story. Uh, and so I wasn't like, you know, like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do if the whole thing collapses? I got gotcha. you. Okay, so you had you had an exit strategy kind of built in with, yeah. with your new, with your new endeavors. Yeah. Excellent. Now, uh, so good. I mean, you're staying out of the issues then between Hulk and Vince, which apparently, you know, could get really heated at times. Everybody says that they have something of like a a love hate relationship where sometimes they really, really love each other and sometimes they (laughs) kill each other. Did you ever witness any of that stuff behind the scenes? Uh, I never, I never, I never witnessed it. You know, uh, you know, I I might've, uh, you know, maybe hearing Hulk, you know, like at different times, you know, like, da, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> you know, going off just, you know, but he, you know, obviously whatever he's going to go off about is nothing. He's not going to say anything that's going to give you or me any hint as to what he's dealing with. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, you know, your, your personal business with the boss is your personal business with the boss. And I think that Hulk Hogan is shrewd enough to know that, like, he might like and trust you, but he's going to be careful what he says probably around anybody and not say anything that he wouldn't say to Vince's face. Anybody in the business that has half a brain needs to know that. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, at that point, you know, if you're going to confide in a friend, then it better be your best friend, you know, who you are, 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 you know, sure that. Uh, you know, it's it's safe with them. So. Well, but I, I do want to know, though, you know, at this time, is Vince seeming frazzled or phased? You know, the ring boy controversy aside, it's he's got this steroid thing going on. His main draw ever, Hulk Hogan, is getting ready to leave. Did you witness Vince kind of seeming stressed out or frustrated? No, Vince never. I don't think Vince ever would let anybody see him that way. You know, every time, you know, uh, most, I mean, we, we saw, we saw Vince, you know, like after, after our initial, you know, like making a contract and, you know, the whole thing where you, you, you go to his office and, and we signed the deal and all after, after that, it's like, you know, I just, I just recently got my uh, nostalgia contract from the WWE, you know, for another you know, two or three years, whatever it is. Um, but uh, the only times that most of us saw Vince were at the TVs. Okay. And when he's at the TV, he's, you know, he's like this. Uh, you know, he's, he's thinking about nothing else but the, 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 the television production 
and that's what you're talking about. My, I, but I mean, I you know, did he, did he ever seem to be more stressed than other times? And not not to my, you know, and I don't know. I, I you know, I, it was like I never knew Vince. Like I was never close enough to Vince to see the signs. If you know what I mean. Okay. Like I, you know, you look at Vince and go, oh gosh, you know, he you know he, he looks like he's worried about something. I, you know, I don't think anybody, you know, other than his his closest family could recognize it. I've heard that Vince is not going to sell it, whether he's stressed or not. He yeah. is, he yeah. is just going to keep his head down and keep working. So, yeah. I mean, good for you him. Got it. And that's all any, any of us ever saw. 